welcome back to JLG Woodworking. Today we are going to be inlaying some 8 degree bow ties. For the first step you'll see here I'm going to be making an 8 degree jig. So I'm using some half inch plywood. I'm going to cut it up to the size I determined to be 6 by 8. You can make yours whatever size you like. Alright, I'm just setting my saw to 8 degrees and I'm going to go ahead and cut the piece. Okay, all I'm doing now is I'm just marking my jig. I'm going to cut some meat out of my jig. There's no reason to have it. So here's the finished jig. I'm going to find the middle exactly. Okay, so what I have here is I cut a six inch piece of mahogany and what I'm doing is I'm finding the exact middle. It's very important. So I'm marking three inches. Now I'm going to finish marking it. I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw and I'm going to use the jig we just made. <laughs> As you can see here we have the two finished bow ties that we made. Now I'm going over to the table saw and I'm going to start making the jig to inlay the bow ties. Now I'm just going to cut a six inch strip of plywood because we have a six inch bow tie. So now I'm going to mark my bow tie on the piece I cut on the table saw. I'm just going to use my pencil. I'm going to go ahead and screw the sides. Once I have that I'm going to go ahead go over to the chop saw. I'm going to mark out exactly how big I want my jig and I'm going to make it cut. So I'm going to go ahead and set the fence for three inches. I'm going to take a six inch piece of plywood and rip it in half to three inches and that's going to become the top and the bottom of our jig. Okay, now I'm lining up all four pieces of my jig. I'm going to glue it, clamp it, and we're just going to let it dry for about 45 minutes. after 45 minutes and there is the finished jig.
I attached a jig with uh, double sided carpenter's tape. I'll put a link in my uh, details for that. And here you can see I'm just going ahead and I'm routing out the jig. like to finish with the router we're going to go ahead and grab a couple of chisels and a uh, mallet and we're going to go ahead and chisel out the corners now that it's all cleaned up with the chisel we go ahead and test fit our piece we're going to add some glue inside of the bow tie and then we're actually going to add it to the bow tie as well. We're all glued up. We're going to push the piece in. We're going to grab the sacrifice piece and the mallet. We'll give it a couple of taps to get it down. Now we got it down. We'll give it a a little bit of glue around the outside then we're going to take a brush and we're going to brush that in and then what I like to do is I just like to take a little bit of uh, the sawdust and wipe that on there sandpaper. I worked my way over to 120. And what I'm going to do at the very end here is I'm just going to water pop it for you guys so you can see what it actually looks like. Hope you enjoyed the video. This is the bow tie jig for the bandsaw and the inlaid bow tie with the jig to go ahead and inlay. If you like what you see here, please go ahead and subscribe to the page and go ahead and like the video. There'll be in the details section some of the items I may have used with links to go ahead and buy those. Thanks a lot guys and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.